So last night was another successful night of the Citizens Police Academy. They did defensive tactics and training, which means things got a little physical. Gwendolyn ended up in handcuffs. We'll let her tell you all about it. Get everything you want, when you want it, and where you want it on any mobile or digital device and viewable screen, including that big screen in your living room. Get it on the go, at night, or wherever you want it, 24-7, WBONTV.com. Learn it, love it, use it. So last night was intense. We did physical fitness and tactical training, and I got thrown to the ground and handcuffed as a way of showing how this is done on the street. Chris Sizemore was our instructor last night. He takes cadets through the 23-week course, as we've talked about how the course works before, and he uh, kind of does the physical fitness part of the coursework. He teaches defensive tactics and how to take down a suspect. And one of the things that I learned that was really interesting last night was really the best tool that any officer has, obviously, is communication because communication can, a lot of times, probably get you out of needing the defensive tactics. Um, but just in case you do need to be trained in how to um, you know, take down a subject if it gets to that point, if they come after you, you know, it, it comes to the bad guy or the good guy, and you want the good guy to come out on top. So. It, uh, it's very important, the training that they do at the DOCJT. Um, as far as keeping the officers safe, uh, the officers keep the community safe and they need to learn how to keep each other safe and keep themselves safe, um, how to make sure that their gun is uh, safely secured so that someone just can't come up and grab it, how to get away from someone with a knife, how to get away with, you know, from someone who's punching or hitting, how to get away from someone with a gun. All those tactics are taught during the 23-week course to make sure that our officers on the street are safe when they're protecting us. On different days of the week, they focus on different areas of physical training. Um, they have that amazing multi-million dollar gym facility that they work on their strength training um, a few days a week. And then cardio, of course, is a big part of it. You know, we've got to be able to run and chase. And then the other days of the week, they have the mat room that they use to um, practice the, you know, takedowns. They, they went through the whole cuffing process from telling me what to do, get down on the ground, you know, the, the whole procedure of um, getting a subject to follow commands. And I'll be honest, some of the commands were a little confusing. So I wasn't trying to make anybody mad, but sometimes you got, if you're in that position and you're vulnerable to start with, you're trying to figure out exactly what they're asking for you to do. But the whole uh, thing from getting them down on the ground to how you get the cuffs on to then how you get the, the suspect back up and walking and standing or even sitting from the uh, lay down position. They have, they have absolutely a um, procedure for everything from from start to finish. So tell us about next week. What's coming up? Next week should be really interesting. Next week they said uh, wear something. You don't mind getting a little bit dirty because it is CSI training. It's a crime scene investigation. We're going to give us some tools to try to, I believe we're going to try to solve a crime. They're going to give us some puzzle pieces and we're going to work through it to see what we can figure out, see how our investigation skills are. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited for next week, which is crime scene investigations. So they're going to get down and dirty. Stay tuned for next week where Grendelin goes to the Citizens Police Academy. For WBON TV, I'm Marissa Hempel. Get the inside look every Tuesday when Grendelin goes to the Citizens Police Academy. Posted each week at WBONTV.com. We'll see if she gets her badge.